Hello. Blind Pew here. You join me, and my crew, in the midst of our battle, to defend the Dalpha system from Tharnoid attack. As usual I'm joined by my crewmates, Chief of Engineering, Benga, and Temporary Communications Officer, Jet Munoz. Greetings to all my fans. I'm trying axe multi cannons on the Tharnoid scouts for the first time following a suggestion from a commander who receives my transmissions. My regular overcharged multi cannons work a treat, but I have to say, the axe are, in fact, slightly better. I'm also laying some mines from my spare hardpoint, a sneaky surprise for these fast moving Tharnoids. As you will have noticed I'm trying the turreted version first. These do, indeed, make taking out the Tharnoid scouts incredibly fast and easy, as long as you can keep your broadside pointed at the target. If your aim is to take out the maximum number in the least time, this might be your best route forward. But, do you know what, it is perhaps too easy, a little dull. I may shift to the fixed versions. Especially in the Python, which has good hardpoint placement. Okay, that's the lot taken out, I'd better return to the station, to hand in these combat bonds and then, then, plot a route to the other side of this system. I've just noticed that there is an ammonia world over there, bound to be a magnet for the Tharnoid forces. I'm on it, Pew. Incidentally, we have corrosive infection in the hull, better get that removed at the station as well, either that or keep the ship up to burn it off. So here we are at the ammonia world in Delpha. Looks like there is a cargo ship in trouble between the rings and the planet there. Take us in bed. Looks in bad shape. There is a Thargoid interceptor over their pew. Oh, I hadn't noticed. This one does not seem hostile once we keep our distance. Odd behavior if they are attacking this system as the Tharnoid scout incursions seem to suggest. Perhaps there is something in these rumors that there are two factions of Thargoid, the Klaxons and the Azerians. However the jury is out on that one until more proof arrives. See what I mean. It has carried out its research, whatever that might be, and now it is jumping out. Very odd behavior when other Thargoids are attacking the system. Let's get in close and scan any messages this damaged transport ship is giving off. Pew, is this transport ship like the ones you normally fly, you know, you being a lowly cargo pilot and all? Don't start all that again Jed. You know where, that got you last time. Uh oh, a squadron of Tharnoid scouts has jumped in. We can take these out with ease. Herpew, sounds like something big has just jumped in as well. What is it? Can you see? Not yet. Energy search. Jed, hit the neutralizer. The what? Not again. Introduce a class, the worst kind. Oh no, Hugh, time to get out of here. 
in a minute. I think we can weather this for a bit. Um, perhaps we can't. This isn't looking all that good, chaps. Well, we are back at the station, rather quicker than I would have hoped. The repairs from that last trip amounted to over 10 million credits. I must say that all this defense effort, with no time for generating any funds is whittling down my reserves. Look I only have 8 million credits left. Drastic action is required if we are to keep this defense going. We will have to liquidate some assets. Like this orca I have lying around. Ah, a bit better. So, back in the clipper, which I must say, is much much more fun. Taking out these scouts is slower, but more enjoyable. But you know what, I hear the local rescue ships are now turning up at that damaged transport ship we were at earlier. Let's see what that is all about. Looks like the rescue ships are inbound. See if you can dock with that cargo ship. We're docked and the clamps are on fuel. Okay, let's get aboard and see what is going on there. Um, no, they might need our help, but I think we will leave that one until later. Lift off Ben. You know, I'm not quite happy with the setup on this clipper. We need further engineering. In particular, we need to apply special effects to the hull and thrusters. To the materials trader. Yes, swap that one for those. And that one. No that one. For these. How about these? Yes, trade those ones. And these ones. No, not just yet. And the flux capacitor. Leave that out of it. Okay, en route to Prospector's Rest in the Cuck system, where we will improve hull and armor. Okay, so we want deep plating effect on the armor. Phew, wouldn't it have been better to wait till the weekend I hear there is a bonus where engineers are charging less. Yes, but we are in a hurry, receiving commanders are advised to wait till the bonus weekend. That hull is looking much better on the clipper now. I've now popped into the star chaser and jumped out to the Pleiades. We need to visit Professor Palin and get the experimental effect fitted to the clipper's grade 5 dirty drives. I've also paid to ship the drives out here as they are too heavy for the Star Chaser to maintain its massive jump range. Drag drives I think, the best effect, unless your ship is very light. That's a nice increase, we should be able to top 600 in the clip now. Time to get back to the bubble and Thargoid defense effort. Okay, we're back, let's see how this thing goes now. It goes, very nicely indeed. You will have noticed. Target destroyed. 
that we have moved on to the Dalwama system which is the next week's target for the Thargoids. Both systems were successfully defended last week including Dalfa that we were in, and the week before that. Did you know, Ben and Jed, that the defense effort had not been successful in defending both systems, until I joined the effort, and since I joined the effort both systems have always been successfully defended. Hopefully we are not too late to help this week. What, are you saying Pew? Nothing, just saying, the stats don't lie. That sounds, like the biggest load of baloney, I've heard in a long time. Exactly Ben, if anything, it is the presence of the galaxy's favorite, and most famous, explorer, Jed Munoz, that has been swinging it. Well, with that we will end the transmission. Incidentally, if you fancy joining the crew of the Star Chaser, as an honorary member, check out the message at the end of this transmission. Until next time, I'll say. Good luck commanders. And I'll see you out there. <laughs>